federal prosecutors have a lengthy list of evidence in their case against Devon Lyman. While they're going after him first for being a felon in possession of a firearm, it's clear prosecuting him for the murder of Officer Webster is in their sights next. Here's News 13's Madeline Schmidt. Yeah, well, Kim, this is the list of evidence they say they'll present at trial. 49 items, everything from a motorcycle helmet to video from the night Officer Webster was murdered. Exhibit after exhibit, bullets, DNA, a call from jail. This is the list of evidence the feds say will be presented to prove Devon Lyman was a felon in possession of a firearm on October 21st of 2015. <laughs> the night APD officer Daniel Webster was shot in the Walgreens parking lot at Central and Eubank during a traffic stop. This isn't just about nabbing Lyman on the federal gun charge, it's about laying groundwork for a murder charge to come. Investigators say the 40 caliber pistol Lyman had is the gun used to kill Officer Webster. It was found in an empty lot across the street. The gun is just one piece of evidence prosecutors say they'll bring to trial. But again, he does have a handcuff on his left hand. Another is the handcuffs investigators say Lyman had on his wrist after shooting Webster, then running. He was found with the handcuffs still on, hiding in a shed. I don't know what the f you're talking about. Lyman has publicly denied his involvement. But a motion filed last week by the Fed says he gave a post-arrest statement saying, quote, if you see that person or that cop's family, tell them I'm so sorry, please. A judge has yet to rule on allowing that statement as evidence. The Fed say right now they have 49 pieces of evidence to work with, including Lyman's wallet left at the scene, Walgreens surveillance video, and what may be the biggest piece of evidence, the footage from Officer Webster's lapel camera. The feds also released their witness list among the people on it. The teenage, the teenager investigators say was on the motorcycle with Lyman when Officer Webster pulled him over. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Madeline. Now in May, Lyman pleaded guilty to separate federal gun and drug charges. He faces up to 50 years in that case. Now the district attorney has said there's no reason to rush to charge Lyman with Officer Webster's murder, saying he's not going anywhere.